Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. Um, today I want to talk about Avengers Endgame. Now, I just want everyone to know that this is a spoiler-free video. There is no spoilers, so you don't have to worry. Um, I am very anti-spoiler, um, period. I hate spoilers. I will not give them away or anything like that. I don't talk about spoilers at, until at least a month. That gives everybody a fair shot at watching it. No matter how busy you are at work, a month is pretty good. So, no spoilers in this video, because I just watched Avengers today and it just came out last week. And this is, I'm going to read my review that I wrote on my Facebook. That is, no spoilers. <clears throat> it reads... Avengers Endgame Review. To start out, I do not and will not post any spoilers. That being said, um, this is one of the only few movies that is actually not overhyped or hyped enough. That is um, far better than the last two Avengers movies, by far. Um, I've always said that Marvel made a mistake by making the first Avengers too perfect, which I, I do believe that still. Um, so the following two movies were a letdown disappointment. I will say that this is one, or I will say that this one is better than the even the perfect first movie because this movie was emotionally gripping and really did connect all the dots and did an excellent job with wrapping all the Avengers movies. It definitely didn't feel like a three hour, six minute long movie. It had enough, it had the emotion, the action, and the story, and even the special effects were as great as, as they possibly could, could be. Um, I only have one complaint. But, I can't share it because of those who haven't seen it yet. Mm, I obviously highly recommend this movie. It wasn't just the best Avengers movie, but one of the best movies ever made. And I really do truly believe that. Uh, truly a masterpiece and will have you emotional but satisfied. Superb job. That's my... Um, review that I wrote earlier about it and that's how I that's how I feel so to start off with I do think I have always thought that the Avengers made a mistake or Marvel did a mistake by making the first Avengers a perfect movie they had everything in the movie it was absolutely amazing they did such an incredible job with the first Avengers movie uh, with everything, with every aspect of it, and I, I do appreciate how perfect it is. I just, it is, it's, um, it is, its strength and its weakness at the same time for the franchise because it is a strength because it is a perfect movie. They really went all out with it, and it was absolutely stunning. Um. So, the problem with making a perfect first movie is that anything else that you make after that does not add up to how the first one was. Ultron, the Age of Ultron, was... It was really good. It was really good. Okay? I'm not taking anything away from it. It just wasn't as good as the first one. Um, but it was really great still. Um, I really, really, so let's talk about Infinity War for a second. That movie, the third one, Infinity Wars, um, so, yes, the special effects were top-notch and amazing and everything, and it really, really did have really strong spots, but I didn't like the movie as a whole. I, I, it, it was really upsetting, and um, 
I, I don't think that it was what it was hyped up to be. I didn't really care for it. <clears throat> Fast forward to Endgame. <sighs> Sorry, guys. It's been a long day. Um, fast forward to Endgame, and Endgame is, it had, so it was, it was literally a perfect movie. It had everything from, I mean, even if they tried, they could not have done a better job at wrapping the franchise. I don't think that they... Even if they tried, they couldn't. They wouldn't be able to. I think that was very um, perfectly done. I uh, I love everything. I mean, the special effects were out of this world. It was absolutely insane. And the way that they uh, paid homage to the rest of the series was absolutely insane with the way that they did that. I was really pleasantly surprised with some things that happened in it, but I mean, I forget that. But um, I was so pleasantly surprised and shocked with some of the things that happened in this movie, and um, it was absolutely incredible. Uh, the acting, <sighs> okay, so. The acting was top notch. Uh, first of all, what really truly makes, and this is not giving any spoilers away, but what truly makes a good actor or actress great is the ability to real cry. And what I mean by that is when they cry, it's emotionally gripping and and really stings your soul like really gets you and makes you emotional and feel the scene instead of being distracted by fake tears and the fakeness of it all because it doesn't have the same effect as a real crier if you're a real crier your hands, you go from being a good actress to a great actress, or a good actor to a great actor, and every single person in, every single actor and actress in this movie did a superb job at making situations emotional. You're emotionally invested in it, and you really, really, really care for it, really cared about it. Um, and they really make you emotionally engaged, and they did an excellent job. Um, so, I mean, there were so many shocking moments and, uh, things that happened in this movie. It was absolutely insane, actually. And I do wholeheartedly, and I think that because this one was so great that it complements the last movie more if that makes any sense because i was not an infinity war fan i don't think that it was at all close to being one of the best but i think that if i were to watch infinity war and endgame back to back like when it comes out on blu-ray i think that i'm gonna appreciate it more um i think that i'm gonna um look at it differently because i don't i don't know i didn't i didn't like infinity war on its own i don't know why i just i just think that it was overhyped and everything but i don't think that endgame is overhyped at all i think that it is what people think of it i do believe wholeheartedly that I mean they went above and beyond <clears throat> above and beyond for this movie I think that the story wrapped up absolutely perfectly I don't think that they could have done a better job and the actors really brought their A plus game they made you feel 
you know, the moment. And I really do appreciate and enjoy, and enjoy that as a movie fanatic. And, um, yeah. I, 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 it sucks because I want to talk about so many things, but I'm not going to do that until a month from now. So a month from now, I'm going to talk about all the spoilers and stuff, but in this video, I'm not going to, so I guess I'll wait. <laughs> um, if you like the the movie Endgame, Avengers Endgame, make sure you uh, comment below this video. Uh, tell me what you think about it. Please do not spoil it yet. Wait at least a few weeks if you can. Because I want everybody to get the full effect of all the moments that happen in this movie. Because I think that everyone needs to uh, soak it in. Like They should experience it because it is something to experience and not something to ruin. Um, so, until next time, guys, uh, make sure you like, um, like, like this video, um, comment below, let's talk about Avengers Endgame without the spoilers, um, it is possible, and, uh, make sure you subscribe to my page, and have a great day.